The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, first chapter, text number twenty-eight and twenty-nine, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on July twenty-second, nineteen seventy-three, in London, England. Translation: Arjuna said, "My dear Krishna." Seeing my friends and relatives present before me in such a fighting spirit, I feel the limbs of my body quivering and my mouth drying up. My whole body is trembling and my hair is standing on end. My bow Gandiva is slipping from my hand and my skin is burning. This time among Sajanam, or John. He is a great warrior, fighter, and for a chhatriya to kill one is not very difficult task. The chhatriyas are trained up. Hunting, hunting is allowed for the chhatriyas, just like medical practitioners. They are trained up how to practice surgical operation on dead body. It is not possible to, of course, for a gentleman to push knife in someone's body. It is naturally very difficult thing. Rogues and thieves they can. Stab. So, as the doctors, medical men, surgeons are trained up to operate their knife on the dead body to see where are the nerves. Similarly, chhatriyas are also allowed for being trained how to kill. Chhatriya means. Khata, khata means injury, and tra means trayate, saves. A khatri has to save the citizen from being injured by others. He is called khatri. Brahmana means one who knows Brahma, the supreme. So Brahmana, khatri, Vaishya, Shudra. These divisions are there according to quality. Guna karma vibhagas by gun. Gun means quality, and karma means actual operation of the guna. So Arjun was a chhatriya trained up by Drona Chaja how to kill. This is the non-violence is not the business of the chhatriya. There is cowardice. Oh. <laughs> they are taught how to become violent. Otherwise, they cannot rule over. Uh, formerly, the judgment was given by the king. Immediately finish. Not go to the court. And wait for the judgment for ten years. In the meantime, everything is finished. Not like that. Anything that regularly, the king used to sit in his assembly, and all the criminals, culprits, they were judged by the king himself. Ah, sometimes the king had to kill personally. With the sword, uh, even in European countries, the royal orders are trained up. Uh, nowadays, it is constitutional, democratic government. The king has no power, uh, but this is not good for the people. Uh, the democracy is a farce. At least I do not like it, because 
Uh, so many rascals simply by getting votes go to the government. And what do they know? How to rule over? Therefore, at the present moment, all over the world, there is no good government. There is no good government. Uh, the America was considered to have very good government. Now we can see the behavior of Mr. Nixon. <clears throat> it is not possible. Formerly, the uh, Chatriyas, they are trained now how to govern. govern. Uh, they were trained up uh, by military men, just like Jona Charjo, trained. Arjuna, Durjadhan, all the royal princes were trained up how to kill. Uh, not only killing, also according to Shastra, how to rule over. The king's business is to see that everyone in the country, they are properly employed and engaged in his own business. That is king's business. There is no question of unemployment. This is government's first business. Because if a person is unemployed, then the devils work so. Uh, devils work. If he hasn't got to do anything, uh, that is being done now. Rich man's son, he hasn't got to do anything, so his brain is devils work so. Uh, they are manufacturing so many isms. Uh, but everyone should be engaged. This is government's first business to see. A brāhmaṇa is engaged as a brāhmaṇa, a is engaged as a chatriya. So Arjuna was not a coward. He was a competent warrior. But still, ah, the hātma buddhi, the bodily concept of life is so strong that Arjuna admits, drishtyātu sajanaṁ Krishna. My dear Krishna, I have to kill my own men. Huh? What is that own man? Own man means this bodily relationship. Huh? Why others are not own men? Everyone is own man. Because everyone is Krishna's son. So when one becomes Krishna conscious, he can see everyone own man. And when he is not Krishna conscious, he simply sees own man where there is bodily relationship. This is the defect. They are advertising humanitarian work, philanthropic work, communism, this isn't. But when there is question of bodily relationship, immediately everything is changed. You know, the communist country, the Kushtem, Kushtem was dimmed out because he was patronizing his own way. That was the defect. So you can advertise that I'm for everyone, but uh, there is affection for own men. Nepotism. Nepotism is called nepotism. So many big, big leaders. Uh, our uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, he was sending his own men as ambassador. Vijaya Lakshmi, a woman, as he was being sent as ambassador, he was high commissioner. Yes. So this old man question is very prominent everywhere. So Arjun is a great warrior. He could fight all the soldiers, all the fighting men, Jujutsu. The other party, they are also they are assembled, Jujutsu, with fighting spirit. 
Other men, even they are not fighting spirit, we can kill very easily. But old men, although they are fighting spirit, still he hesitates. This is old men. So this old manship, in relationship with the body, is the barrier for uh, spiritual understanding. So long. This conception of life will exist, that I am this body, and anyone who is related with this body, they are my own man, kinsman, relative. This conception of life is the greatest barrier for advancing in spiritual consciousness. Therefore, the Vedic civilization is so planned that one has to give up this rascal old man conception. That is the vairāgya. It is called vairāgya. Jnana vairāgya. Two things required in human life, knowledge and vairāgya, detachment. The attachment increases. Ah. First of all, it increases. This whole world is based on sex life. A man has got attraction for woman, a woman has got attraction for man. This is nature's bondage. Uh, <coughs> sacred. Uh, and when they are actually united, either by the father and mother, or by their own way. That sacral, that attraction increases. Uh, not in the heart. She is my wife. He is my husband. Uh, of course, now that knot is very slack. Formerly it was very strong because the old man was not allowed to mix with any other man, and the man was also not allowed with any other woman. This intermingling has slackened even that knot, vidayaganti. Therefore, in trifle cases, quarrel between husband and wife, there is divorce. Because that unity is not very strong now. That is good. Somewhere or other it is slackened. Uh, so this old man say comes from bodily concept of life. Uh, so the Arjuna is preparing the ground how to receive the instruction of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, because a spiritual instruction will begin to separate the soul from the body. Unless one understands that there is a soul different from this body, there is no spiritual education. This is the basic principle. If you do not understand what is soul, what is spirit soul, then where is spiritual education? Uh, so, uh, Arjun was affected. He says, frankly, Dhrishtvatu sajanam krishna jujusam samapasitam. What is this? I have to kill my own man, sajanam. Sajanam means own man. Uh, no, no. Sridanti mamagatrani. Oh, I am Sibarin. Mukhaṅca uh, parishusyati. My mouth is being dried up. We have got this experience. When there is danger, these things some happen. So many symptoms. Viputhascha saridemi, roma harsascha jayat, gandhi mangus, sang sati hastyat, takcha iva paridayate. As these things, these symptoms, different transformation of bodily 
constitution appears in times of danger. Similarly, such symptoms appear in times of uh, spiritual bliss. That is called astrosatvik vikā. Uh, eight kinds of transformation of the body. So there is so many desert energies within our body. They become manifest uh, in due course of time when the mind and intelligence work in different way. Uh, this is the study uh, how things appear. Uh, it is appearing from intelligence mind. The soul is there and the intelligence and mind creating the situation of the bodily symptoms. Therefore body uh, or the senses are not all. Uh, the, the modern education, they think this body is everything. Uh, no. Real study is, body means the senses. Uh, indriyāṇī parārāhu, on gross vision we see this body. Uh, indriyāṇī parārāhu, indriyastu parāmmana. But the bodily symptoms are acting because the mind is there. Uh, and mind is working because the intelligence is there. And the intelligence is working because the soul is there. Uh, you can stand. <coughs> so this is the process. The very basic principle is the soul. The soul is acting through intelligence, and the intelligence is acting through mind, and the mind is expressed through the senses. This is the position. So as my mind is absorbed in something, some subject matter, my bodily symptoms also will work, or the senses will work according to that mind. Therefore, uh, for spiritual advancement also, you have to train your mind. Savai mana krishna padar vindayo vachāṅsi vaikuntha gunānu varnani. If you use, first of all fix up your mind. Yoga, yoga means indriya saṅgya. Yoga practice means that controlling the mind and the senses. That is yoga practice. Uh, because our mind is very flickering and changing, something accepting immediately, something rejecting immediately, very flickering. Therefore we have to train up the mind. And when the mind is trained up, then automatically your senses will be controlled. If you are strong-minded, that I will not accept any foodstuff which is not offered to Krishna, naturally your tongue is controlled. Naturally. Uh, uh, Thakur has sung, Sharira vidya jala jarandriya tahekal jive phale visaya sāgar. Our, this body is a network of Nescience or ignorance. This body, we have, why we have got this body, material body? Because we have got, we have forgotten Krishna and we wanted to lord it over the material nature. This is our position. Therefore, according to our different desires, we have got different body. Here we are sitting, say fifty years, hundred men, and Nobody's body will tell you with other's body. Face and everything. Different. Because every one of us have, has got different desires. Uh, therefore their facial expression, bodily construction, everything is made according to the mind. Uh, so at the time of death also, the constitution of mind will transfer me to another different type of body.
The mind will carry the soul. These are all explained in the Bhagavad. Jang jang bapi smaran lopi tajatanti kalevara. So if you train up your mind, uh, that is Krishna consciousness. All is remembering Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hmm? Then it may be possible that at the time of death you remember Krishna and your life is successful. Taktadi hang punarjan manaiti, mami iti kam. Immediately you are transferred to Krishna Loka. Uh, this is training. Uh, so we have to think of Krishna all as twenty-four hours. Kitaniya sadahari, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has recommended. Karorapi uh, sahisnuna. Tinadapi suni chena, tarorapi sahisna, omani na manadena, kirtani and sadahari. Because our aim is, if you are serious of being transferred to the loka, to the place where Krishna is, then we have to train up the mind uh, so nicely that at the time of death I can remember Krishna. Therefore, one great king, Kula Shekhar, uh, he is praying to Krishna. Uh, Krishna tadiya padapankaja. Hmm? What is that part? Uh. <clears throat> tadiya, Krishna tadiya padapankaja. Uh, I am just forgetting. The uh, idea is, a Kulasekhar, King Kulasekhar is praying to Krishna. Uddaiva visatu me mana saraja hansa. Uddaiva. Prana prayana samaye kapabata pittai. Smaranam kutaste. He is praying. Krishna, I am now in good health. So kindly award me death immediately. Addeva, immediate. Uh, so that my mind, who is just like a swan, he can take pleasure by entering into stream of your lotus flower feet. Uh, Krishna's feet is always compared with lotus flower. And the lotus flower has got a stain. Uh, and the uh, swans, they take pleasure being entangled with that stain. They go and dive into the water. This is their very good sport. So he is taking uh, that sporting. He is comparing his mind as the Rajahansa. Uh, so as the Rajahansa takes pleasure by entangling him in the stain of the lotus flower, similarly, your lotus feet there is a stem. So my mind, which may be compared with Rajahansa, let it be entangled now. Image. Otherwise, I do not know. Prana prayana samaye kapabhata vittai. When everything bodily uh, function will be mixed up, kapabhata vittai, uh, there will be some sound. Uh, how I can be, uh, I will be able to uh, remembering your lotus feet. So let me die immediately. Immediately. Now I am quite fit. Uh, otherwise, uh, I may not be able. This is the point. Uh, the mind should be kept in healthy condition. Sagya, uh, therefore, one who dies with full sense. Remembering Krishna, ah, he is success. In Bengal it is said, bhajan karo sadhan karo motte jan lehat. Mani, you may be very great devotee, that's all right. But it will be tested at your, the time of your death. How you remember Krishna? That will be the test examination. Ah. Ah. At the time of Death, if we forget, if we become parrot-like, just like parrot, 
he chants also hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna but when the cat catches the neck ta 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 no more krishna no more krishna so artificial practice will not help us then ta ta that kapapita vaattai kanthavaro dhanavidai smaranam kutasthe so from the very beginning we have to practice krishna consciousness if you are actually serious to go back to home back to god not that let it be left uh for two or three years before death oh it is not so easy it is not so easy प्रहलाद महाराज रेकमेंड्स दे कौमारो आचरित प्राग धर्मान भागवता दुर्लभम मानुसंग जन्म तदपि अध्रुवम अर्थदम यो फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड कृष्ण कॉन्शियस फ्रॉम द ओम बाबिस माधव ही हार्ड इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ नारद नारद वॉज इंस्ट्रक्टिंग हिज माधव ही वॉज इन द ओम Uh, fortunately by god's grace he heard all the instruction of narada when he was in the womb of his mother and the result was from the beginning of his life he is krishna conscious from the beginning as soon as he took birth he is krishna conscious so he was advising his class friend preaching to see He was five years old boy, but he was taking the opportunity of preaching uh, because the teacher he is born of uh, demon family. So all those class friends they are also sons of demons. So there is no question of Krishna consciousness. But he learned Krishna consciousness from the womb of his mother. So he was trying to preach. Uh, because he was king's son, there was no other opportunity for preaching, and he was a five years old boy. He took the opportunity in the classroom. As soon as the teacher is away, he would preach. He would preach. This is preaching spirit. As soon as you get some opportunity, preach. What is that preach? Uh, preaching. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has advised us. जारे दाखो तारे कहो कृष्ण उपदेश दिस इज प्रीच हु एवर यू मीट सिंपली स्पीक ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कृष्ण सो इफ यू आर एडवांस इफ यू नो व्हाट इज द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कृष्ण बाय रीडिंग भगवत गीता यू कैन प्रीच टू अदर्स एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट रेड एनीथिंग सपोज यू डू नॉट नो एनीथिंग देन यू कैन ऑल्सो प्रीच वॉट इज दैट Uh, just become a devotee of Krishna, my dear sir. That's all. This is also preach. Uh, just surrender to Krishna. You go door to door. If you cannot do anything, uh, simply say, "My dear sir, you are very good man. Uh, you are very intelligent man. Chant Hari Krishna. Sakalam eva bhaya dura." This preaching was taught by Prabodha Anand Saraswati. दंती निधाय तिनक पदयो निपत्य काकुशत कृत्वा च अहंग प्रवीमी दिस इज द प्रीचिंग प्रोसेस दंती निधाय तिनक अकॉर्डिंग टू वेदिक सिविलाइजेशन इफ वन वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम वेरी हम्बल एंड अप्रोच एन दैट पर्सन देन ही हैज टू टेक वन स्ट्रॉ इन द माउंट तिना सो द प्रीचिंग प्रोसेस is to take a straw in the mouth dante nidhaya tinakam padayo nipatya and falling down on your feet dante nidhaya tinakam padayo no kakushatam kritwa cha hang bravimi and flattering me sir you are so great man you are so intelligent man this is flattering although he is a uh, fool number 1 we have to flatter like that Oh, there is no great greater man like you. You are so intelligent. You are so rich. You are so beautiful. Ah, uh, so all these things, just like the beggars, sometimes you, ah, uh, you become king, and he one thinks, oh, he's blessing me. All right, you take one. 
So this flattering is also required. So, kākṣatam prityācha haṁ parmīni. So, the man is, may ask, so why you are so humble and flattering? What is your intention? Uh, tell me. So he is now telling. Uh, hey, sadhava. Oh, you are a great sadhu. Uh, uh, hey, sadhava. Sakalameva vihaya durat. You have learned so many nice things. I know that. But kick them out. Please. Uh, Sakalameva. Whatever you have nonsense learned. Rascal dham, you have learned. Please kick them out. This is my request. Sakalam eva vihaya durat chaitanya chanda charani kurutan uravam. Just hear what Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says. This is my request. This is preaching. This is preaching. Uh, flatter, fall down on his feet and eulogize him as great sadhu, as great intelligent, great rich. Do so that he may little hear. And when he says, What do you want? Uh, now I want this, sir. Whatever rascal dham you have learned, please forget it. Uh, because I know you are rascal number one. You have got so many hodgepodge things in your brain. So you keep them out, please. Sakalami uh, mabhyaya dura. Keep them, throw away. Long distance. Don't look upon them. Then what to do? Chaitanya Chanda Charani, Guru Tanura. Please hear what Chaitanya Chanda says. Chaitanya Ridayar Kataha, Koroho Vichar. Vichar Karile Chitta Pave Chamatka. Just try to understand the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and you will feel so sublime. Chaitanya Chanda Ridayar Kataha. Don't take it blindly. If you are intelligence, just make a judgment uh, what Śrītana Chandra is uh, telling. Uh, so this is preaching. Uh, this is preaching. So Arjuna has to be a preacher, uh, practical preacher. What is that preaching? That he has to sacrifice everything for Krishna say. That's all. This is preaching. Sakalameva Bihayatra. Arjun will be the greatest example uh, how he became Krishna conscious. In the last tenth chapter, he will say, Sarvameva Mritangamanne Jadavada Si Kesava. My dear Krishna Kesava, whatever you say, I accept in total. Without any interpretation, or this is like this, this is like that, this is not very good. Or the kukuti na. And all rascals, they accept this Bhagavad Gita on the principle of or the kukuti na. In the na, in the logic, there is a logic or the kukuti na. What is that or the kukuti na? Kukuti means the hen. So hen gives one egg every day. So the man, proprietor of the hen, is considering that this hen is very good, uh, giving every day one egg. But uh, the its mouth is expensive, it eats. So let me cut the mouth. Simply take the egg. So there are rascals, they study Bhagavad-gītā on this principle of ardha cut this, take this, cut this, take this. Ah. So if you cut the head, there will be no more egg. The rascal does not. Ah. If you cut the head, there will be no more production of egg. So similarly, if you try to study Bhagavad-gītā according to your wings, cut this and take this, that is not study of Bhagavad Gita. That is something else. That is something else. Uh, therefore, uh, we have to take from Arjun how he accepted Bhagavad Gita. He said, Sarva me manne. Krishna, you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Whatever you are speaking, 
Whatever you have spoken, I take them as it is. This is study of Bhagavad Gita. So, the uh, hindrance is this hajana. Uh, now he is presenting. He is presenting himself as full number one, although he is not so. But he is creating the ground for uh, Krishna speaking on Bhagavad Gita. This is the principle. Therefore, he is not at all affected by this hajana. But he is presenting, this is my problem, uh, that I have to kill this time among sajana and Krishna. By seeing my own kinsman, because I am full number one, just sātma buddhi kuna preti dhātuke, I am calling them sajana. In sastra, it is called sajanākha dosu. Sajanākha dosu. They are all thieves and rogues, but they are claiming as my kinsmen. Uh, practically, suppose in your pocket there is one hundred dollars. If some pickpocket take it, and if you capture it, then you give it immediately to the police. And when you come home after hard-earned money, and when your wife takes it, are oh, you laugh? Oh, you have taken all my money. Huh? Ah. But the same pickpocket, but the same pickpocket, but because he is sojourno, sojournakho dosu, pickpocket in the name of sojourn, he is very much pleased. Ah, my wife has taken, my son has taken, never mind. That's all. Rather, as soon as takes, he is given to the police. Uh, the same business is being done. He is working hard day and night, and they are plundering. Still, they are thinking. They are my sajan, they are my kinsmen. This is called illusion. Thank you very much.